All right, attempt number two at making this video. Uh, we got the SRX, and uh, last time, while I was trying to change tracks, everything died. So I wasn't able to get to test anything but Stafford. So I'm going to just do this all in one unedited video and put chapters for where the next track loads at. That way you don't have to sit through black screens and loading and a bunch of other things like that if you don't want to. But here we are. Uh, you can paint the car however you want with a paint template. Uh, In-game painter only allows for the X on it, so no big deal though. Uh, I have a plan to paint up a bunch of old Bush NASCAR All-Star -Tour, All Tour late models from back in the 90s from the Wedge Dirt late models because this car is going to fit those schemes perfectly. Uh, it should look really good. Um, and, uh, yeah, try to make a bunch of those so that we can randomly see paint schemes that I remember from my childhood. This car is amazing. Uh, we're just going to run the fix sets. So uh, it's going to be tighter. That's just how iRacing makes fix sets, especially with higher horsepower cars. Now this isn't super late model. This isn't going to be as fast as a super late model. This is essentially an ARCA car with the aero and braking power of an 87. It's kind of how it feels to me. So uh, you'll see once we get out on track. Very, very tight though right now. Well, as I say that, we just gun it up and loop it there. All right. That's the first time I've done that. Got some power down as we were coming out of the pits or it hit the grass or something. But, um, yeah, it's kicking out now. All right. So, very tight in the corners. Let's see, I completely blew that corner. Get up to about 114, 120. Got to slow it all the way down to 70 or so, 65 to 70. And that large braking zone is going to make the racing really good because center of corner speed is very low, which means you're going to have more opportunity to pass. Uh, try to throw it in on the inside, make some passes on entry, set up some passes on exit. Getting the power down out of the corner is uh, easier than Arca, but this has also got a lot more modern um, tire model on it from Arca, I think, just because the Arca tires are kind of, they're weird. Uh, they do lack a little bit of grip. But this thing, this is the perfect race car. This is the perfect short track car. It might be the perfect big track car as well. Because um, if you got to slow down for corners but can go fast, it could be a lot of fun on the bigger tracks as well. Never know. I would hate to see the official series end up being all big tracks though. So hopefully the ARCA people just stay the hell away from it. And let us short track racers have short track races and dirt races. But I, I could literally sit here and drive 100 laps right now by myself and that's not a thing that I normally get with a short track vehicle or any race car. This just feels natural. Now, I'm, I'm probably going slow. I'm probably not, you know, taking advantage of some of iRacing's shortcomings, but it just feels, it feels like an awesome race car. Let's just take a look at a few cameras here. You know, it is an ugly car, but it works. And you can see a lot of movement, a lot of the nose going up, because it doesn't matter if you seal off the nose. That's that's not going to be a thing in this car. Just not going to matter. So you're going to have a lot more nose dive on it under braking. 
and a lot more mechanical grip rather than the arrow grip through the corners. But it's awesome. I love it. So much fun. Let's go try a dirt track, which I have not been on. And I'm really, really looking forward to because, well, um, this is, like I said, the old 90s late models where you weren't lifting any tires. You weren't doing anything stupid with the rear end. And it was just a flat, wedge nose car with power. So let's go to Knoxville. That will be a real track and kind of get an idea. So for I forgot to check the uh, track state. Hopefully no issues with that. Just overall, really, I'm more pleased than I thought I would be with this. All right, God, it looked like it was a thousand percent slick there, but then it solved itself. All right, we got the Knoxville set in. Now we've got bars instead of a window. Oop, the car just hopped. So it was settling in there. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn my force feed back down. Let's turn it down to 3.7. Alrighty, what do we have? <laughs> oh yeah, it's street stock-like. And probably not too much different, a little easier than uh, the trucks. Same power, or uh, same engine as the trucks and Arca. But I think we got some bigger tires on this thing than what the uh, truck series and Arca run. Pretty sure could just be a made-up fact. Oh, it races. It races really good around here. Not getting a whole lot of wheel spin like you normally do, but we're also not on a uh, slicked off track. This thing is juiced up. But I'm not feeling that... Uh, Tires spin up at the end of the straightaway right now. And this is going to be awesome if I can get a bunch of people in a server with the All Star Tour late model paint schemes. Even though we don't have any of the tracks other than Knoxville and maybe Cedar Lake. I don't even know if it was around back then. But, um,. This is old school dirt racing. Damn, this is good. Okay. That. That's fun. This is going to be a fun car. Maybe doing a uh, league season with this car sooner than I thought I would be. Let's go back a couple of laps here. That's just, that's just the stance those old 90s late models had. Get them a bit sideways. You're not sitting there punching the left rear down into the ground. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with this car. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's see if they just said that everything is... No, I thought maybe we were getting a everything stable. You don't understand how much this car fits what I want racing to still be. Um, it's simple. It's not aero-dependent. It's not flat foot. It's dirt. It's pavement. It's just a lot of good. All right. Here's the big question. What's it like on a 1.5? I 
Now, last time I tried loading into a 1.5, the game and the service died again. Blame it on me. I said, no, this is a short track car, you idiot. Don't take it here. But my hope is, for hosted racing, we're going to have a lot of fun with a car you have to drive. It's not going to be IROC Flatfoot. I think it's going to be liftoff 87s, but um, just a little different. So we got a Charlotte set here. There's a lot of setups, and I'll show you the setup options. You can't lock the setups like Advanced or Rookie Legends because this car races on so many different things. You have to have a bunch of setups uh, options to get it to be able to drive at all these different tracks. So it'll most likely be a fixed setup series, but they have a ton of setups, which is awesome. And it's probably awesome on road courses as well. You got a lot of gearing options. What is it? I think this is just going to blow me away with how it drives, unless it's just completely planted. I think it's going to be a lot harder than I'm expecting. Oh, let's see back. Get that back up. that I can put up here. No. Just hoping for a different move. Oh, oh, holy, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the good news is everyone is gonna whine like crazy about this car on big tracks. Because you gotta use the brake. You can't just, you can't Talladega it around. Holy shit. I know it wasn't made for this and that's gonna make it fun. Someone was asking me what kind of, like, what it compared to driving style, and I kind of said 70s and 80s, because they were hoping, like, 90s, but center of corner speed right there, down into the 140s, getting up to 180 at the end of the straights. We're doing 33s. Lost the rear end. You can you get loose in the center of the corner and not just on exit. Okay, we got wheel damage. <laughs> oh yeah, the Talladega idiots are not going to like this track. They are not going to be happy that they actually have to drive if they have to do a 1.5. They were all hoping for they were all hoping for flatfoot I rock style. Held a little bit more speed through there. That's good. Almost considering doing like a NIS style following the NASCAR schedule with this car. We'd have to do short races, shorter races, but. <laughs> this is what a race car should be. It should not be planted. It should not be. It shouldn't have like an Indy car snap. If it's hard to drive, it should be hard to drive at the limit, not just hard to drive because for no freaking reason. Oh, we, we broke the right side. Um, you know what, let's go test out the damage model real quick since we're at a fast track. This... This is good for many reasons. It would be, I see why they didn't do it in real life, because people would get hurt going this fast with this hard. Yeah, you, you just, you can't, you can't just send it off in there. And you get a lot of damage too when you uh, wreck it. That thing, it broke the tire. 
All right, how much pull Tracy did we do? Don't think that we'll uh, have much side damage. I think it'll just be nose coming off and wheels tethered, but we'll go full throttle into three. Hit the apron, shoot up, and see what see what kind of damage we can actually create with this. Yeah, there's not a really good side damage model on this car, but that's kind of just eye racing. <sighs> what what an awesome car though so far. Um I guess we gotta go try Talladega. Laugh if it's not flat foot, because that'll make everyone hate it. I mean that experience right there with having to lift off that much for a 1.5, like, I mean, this thing is going to be tough as hell to drive at the bigger tracks. All right, so we got the Talladega set in. Do we have a restrictor plate? You know, what, what kind of rules are they coming up for themselves? I assume we're doing restrictor plate. Uh, just because it's the same engine parameters as our gun trucks, but... I don't know if we are. I feel like... Yeah, gearing... Gearing looks like we are not... Eh... No, we've... We've hit the drag. We've definitely hit the drag limit on the car. But definitely has a plate. Probably drafts really, really well though just because it's a brick. Handling wise, well, it's Talladega and we're going under 190, so it's not bad. Arrow might push it around a bit, but with the front and rear bumpers the way they are, it might be a really good push, maybe even tandem car. Okay. Well, we've We've learned what we can do. I'll do a full lap here at 186 and 87 and see what the lap time is. All right, 51s by ourselves. Not much to show, though. Charlotte was way more exciting. Let's go try a road course. Uh, you know what? We'll just... Uh, go Sonoma. NASCAR short because they've finally named them something that makes sense since historic became modern and modern became historic and then it changed and they had to change it again. Uh, road setup. Okay, we'll just go with default road set. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Wait, seeing up over that hood. Okay. Sit up a little higher. I might not even get out of first gear. Okay, 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 calm down, car. Getting the power down on road courses. <laughs> oh, this thing has no grip. You're going like 10 miles an hour in the center of the corner and it's still going around. I don't think this is gonna please the Trans Am people that wanted a Trans Am, maybe it will. I mean because it does, it's slidey, and obviously there are people that are better than I at road course racing, but, and maybe once you get some of this tight dialed out of it, it will uh, get around here a little better, because we are just on default road, so. Oh, no. Well, I knew ground was coming sometime because all we were seeing was sky for a while. You've got some damage. Let's get that fixed. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> this thing. Oh, man. This thing is so, like, 70s era NASCAR. Oh, man. Tires just sent us. This is what a race car should be. It shouldn't be stupid gripped up. Look at that. No floor. Just freaking bars, wheels. Yeah, power. I mean, this thing is... <laughs> this just shows you. This is, this is what a race car should be. That's, that's just my response. Oh, man. I love this thing. I really hope it's popular. We're going to run officials with it. And we'll probably run some league stuff. I hope you enjoy it. If you got it, let me know what you think of it. 1.5s are going to be amazing. Short tracks are going to be amazing. Road courses are going to be hard as hell. Dirt's going to be awesome. Uh... This is perfect. This is the race car for people that are old like me that want to go back to the days when things weren't planted. This is it. This is our car. This is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, I hope you like that little preview. Thanks for watching.